Hello dear students, welcome back. Today we will discuss about characters of phylum Porifera and classification of phylum Porifera. The term Porifera comes from Greek language. Pori means pores plus ferian means bearing. Commonly called pore bearing animals because their body is porous having pores. Now main characters of uh, members of phylum Porifera. First these are pore bearing animals and are commonly called sponges. Number two, pores are of two types. In ke body mein do exams, do exam ke pores pai jate hain. Numerous means many and dear students, they have smaller pores called osseia known as inhalant pores. Means they are used for water intake. Water comes into the body of a sponge through smaller pores called osseia and they have one or few larger pores called oscula used to expel water. Excellent pores means the water leaves the body of a sponge through excellent pore known as oscula. Now uh, look at the diagram of a sponge. Dear students you see the body is porous, body is porous. Here you see inhalant pores. Dear students these smaller inhalant pores are called osseia and what is function of osseia dear students they are used for water intake and look at the top there is a larger pore known as osculum excellent pore and what is function of osculum dear students osculum is the water output channel the water leave the body of a sponge through a larger pore called osculum what about the organization of sponges Dear students, sponges have cellular organization belongs to a group called Perazoa. You have remembered that Perazoa is a group of animals that has only cellular organization but tissue organization is absent. In me sirf cellular organization present hoti hai, pai jati hai, tissue organization is absent. So they belongs to a group Perazoa. And next symmetry. Dear students, symmetry of sponges. Sponges are asymmetrical, means without symmetry. They do not have particular body shape. Look at here. Dear students, a sponge has no symmetry, means its body cannot be cut into two equal parts by an imaginary line. Now the body wall of a sponge. The body of a sponge has two layers, outer and inner layer. Dear students, outer layer is called pinacoderm because it is made up of flat cells called pinacocytes and dear students, their inner layer is called coenoderm and it is made up of flagellated cells, coenocytes. Now look at the diagram, this is the outer layer, this is the outer layer of the body of a sponge and this is the inner layer of the body of a sponge. Dear students, this outer layer is made up of cells called pinacocytes that is why it is called pinacoderm and look at here this is the inner layer of the body of a sponge it is made up of flagellated cells dear students these flagellated cells are called coenocytes ye bahut important cells hain coenocytes flagellated cells inke functions bhi aaj hum padhenge magar ye sabse pehle inner layer form kar rahe hain Dear students, this inner layer is called coenoderm because it is made up of flagellated cells, coenocytes. Now, see, these are very important cells. Hain. What are the functions of these flagellated cells? First function, these flagellated cells move water in and out of the body of a sponge. Second function of these flagellated cells, these flagellated cells bring in food and oxygen to the body of sponges. And number three, these flagellated cells also remove waste products and carbon dioxide from the body of a sponge. Dear students, these two layers of sponges ki body mein padhe, they are not ectoderm and they are not endoderm. Yaad rakhiyega, ectoderm is a layer made up of tissues. Endoderm is a layer made up of tissues. But in sponges, there are no tissues. So, ye ectoderm or endoderm true layers nahi hai. Ye cellular layers hai, jo ke outer layer hai, pinacocytes se bana hua hai, pinacoderm. Or jo inner layer hai, coenocytes se bana hua hai, 
کوئنوڈرم اور دیکھیں ان دو لیئرز کے بیچ میں آپ کو ایک تھن اسپیس نظر آ رہا ہے there is a thin space between these two layers dear students this thin space is called mesen kaima in two layers ke beech mein ek thin space paya jata hai mesen kaima usme aapko amoeba like cells nazar aayenge these amoeba like cells are called amebocytes aur mesen kaima mein aapko hard needle like structures nazar aayenge spicules these hard needle like structures are called spicules which are the endoskeleton of sponges endoskeleton of sponges mesen kaima ke bare mein hum kuch detail mein padhenge between the two layers there is a thin space called mesen kaima ye jo do layers ke beech mein aapko thin space nazar aa raha hai kya kehte hain mesen kaima the mesen kaima is made up of proteinaceous matrix اس میں ایک پروٹین کا میٹرکس پایا جاتا ہے اینڈ ایمیبا لائک سیلز کارڈ ایمیبو سائیڈز ڈیا سوڈنٹس ان ایمیبو سائیڈز کے ڈیفرنٹ ٹائپس ہوتے ہیں اور یہ ایمیبو سائیڈز اسپیشلائز ہوتے ہیں ڈیفرنٹ فنکشنز پر فارم کرنے کے لیے اب ہم ایمیبو سائیڈز کے ٹائپس پڑھیں گے اب ہم ان ایمیبو سائیڈز کے ٹائپس پڑھیں گے ٹائپس آف ایمیبو سائیڈز and they have granules of pigments so they are pigmented cells number two trophocytes digestion may help karte hain digestive cells of sponges thicocytes food ko store karte hain food storage cells sclerocytes jo ke sponges ke spicules banate hain spicule forming cells and spicules are endoskeleton of sponges or dear students ye sponges ke reproductive cells hain archaeocytes چھوٹی پوٹینٹ سیل a cell having ability to form all cells of the body is called چھوٹی پوٹینٹ سیل and used for regeneration and reproduction dear students if the body of an sponge is cut accidentally into many pieces each piece will grow and form a complete sponge due to چھوٹی پوٹینٹ سیلز archaeocytes اور اب ہم یہ spicules پڑھیں گے Here you see hard needle like structures known as spicules. They are nothing but they are endoskeleton of sponges. Dear students, what are spicules? Spicules are needle like hard structures. Calcareous made up of calcium carbonate or siliceous made up of silica. So they may be calcareous bodies or they may be siliceous body they provide structural support to the body of sponge and they are considered as they are known as endoskeleton of sponges now nutrition of sponges dear students as far as the nutrition of sponges is concerned they are holozoic in their nutrition holo means complete zoa means animal complete animal like nutrition they take in solid food by a process called ingestion and in the body of sponges the digestion is intracellular the digestion which takes place inside the cell is called intracellular digestion what about the habitat of sponges habitat is a place of living where an animal lives dear students sponges are aquatic means they are living in water mostly marine means they are present in sea water ایکسیپٹ اسپنجیلا یہ ایک ایسے اسپنج کو کہا جاتا ہے جو کہ فریش وارٹر میں پایا جاتا ہے فریش وارٹر اسپنج ڈیا سوڈنٹس اسپنجز آر سیسائل سیسائل means they are fixed at one point and they cannot move نمبر ٹین نروس سسٹم is absent in اسپنجز اسپنجز do not have a nervous system الیون Respiration and excretion in sponges. In sponges, respiration and excretion occur through general body surface. And dear students, remember, sponges are ammonotelic. The animals which excrete ammonia as a nitrogenous waste are known as ammonotelic. So sponges are ammonotelic in their excretion. اور اسپنجز کی باڈی میں ایک بہت امپورٹنٹ سسٹم پایا جاتا ہے کینال سسٹم they have a کینال سسٹم what is کینال سسٹم it is سسٹم of interconnected کینالز whose central cavity is called اسپنجو سیل 
ये स्टूडेंट्स अब हम स्पंजेस का कैनाल सिस्टम पढ़ेंगे ये एक ऐसा सिस्टम है जो इंटरकनेक्टेड कैनाल से बना हुआ है इसमें सबसे पहले वाटर स्पंज की बॉडी में एंटर होगा ऑसिया के थ्रू उसके बाद एक कैविटी में आएगा दैट कैविटी इज कॉल्ड स्पंजो सील एंड देन द वाटर लीव द बॉडी थ्रू आस्क्यूलम लुक एट द डायाग्राम दिस इज द डायाग्राम शोइंग द कैनाल सिस्टम ऑफ स्पंज दिस इज द डायाग्राम शोइंग कैनाल सिस्टम ऑफ स्पंज इन कैनाल सिस्टम द वाटर एंटर्स द बॉडी ऑफ स्पंज थ्रू टाइनी पोर्स कॉल्ड ऑसिया डियर स्टूडेंट्स ये टाइनी पोर्स हैं ऑसिया जिनके थ्रू वाटर स्पंज के बॉडी में एंटर हो रहा है सो वाटर कम्स इन टू द बॉडी ऑफ स्पंज थ्रू ऑसिया एंड दिस इज देयर कैविटी Spongo seal. The cavity of sponges is called spongo seal, and from spongo seal, water leaves the body through osculum. As through osculum, the water is expelled out of the body of sponge. अब हम sponges के canal system के तीन types पढ़ेंगे जो हमारे textbook में mention किए गए हैं. Dear students, there are three types of canal system. The canal system may be of S-con type, may be of S-con type, or may be of Leucon type. What is S-con type of canal system? In S-con type of canal system, spongo seal is single cavity, not divided. Spongo seal is single cavity, not divided. Look at the diagram. Dear students, the S-con type of uh, canal system may स्पंजेस का लुक एट दिस कैविटी दिस कैविटी इज कॉल्ड स्पंजो सील एस्कॉन सिस्टम सिंपलेस्ट टाइप ऑफ कैनाल सिस्टम है जिसमें स्पंजो सील फर्दर चैम्बर्स में डिवाइड नहीं है मगर जो अब हम नेक्स्ट टाइप पढ़ेंगे उसमें डी स्टूडेंट्स स्पंजो सील की डिवीजन होगी साइकॉन टाइप वॉट इज साइकॉन टाइप इन साइकॉन टाइप ऑफ कैनाल सिस्टम स्पंजो सील इज डिवाइडेड इन टू सेकेंडरी चैम्बर्स अब यहां पे देखिए ये जो आपको स्पंजो सील नजर आ रहा है डी स्टूडेंट इसमें आपको सेकेंडरी चैम्बर्स नजर आएंगे वेन द स्पंजो सील इज डिवाइडेड इन टू सेकेंडरी चैम्बर्स द कैनाल सिस्टम इज कॉल साइकॉन टाइप अब हम मोस्ट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड कैनाल सिस्टम पढ़ेंगे ल्यूकॉन टाइप ल्यूकॉन टाइप मोस्ट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड सिस्टम कैनाल सिस्टम इन ल्यूकॉन टाइप स्पंजो सील इज डिवाइडेड एंड रीडिवाइडेड इन टू सेकेंडरी एंड टर्शरी चैम्बर्स इसमें स्पंजो सील फर्दर डिवाइड हो गया छोटे छोटे चैम्बर्स में पहले सेकेंडरी चैम्बर्स और उसके बाद वो डिवाइड हो गए टर्शरी चैम्बर्स में तो इसको हम क्या कहते हैं ल्यूकॉन टाइप सो दीज वर द थ्री केनाल सिस्टम टाइप्स इन बॉडी ऑफ स्पंजेज नेक्स्ट What about the reproduction of sponges? Dear students, they reproduce by both sexual and asexual means. Both asexual and sexual reproduction occur in sponges. Asexual reproduction occurs by budding and gamules. Gamule formation. हम दोनों को define करेंगे. What is budding and what are gamules? What is budding? In budding, a small part grow and break off and continue to grow. पहले एक outgrowth appear होता है, जिसको bud कहा जाता है, then the bud breaks off and continue to grow. और dear students, दूसरा term जो हमारे textbook में दिया गया है, gamule formation. Now what are gamules? Gamules are internal buds, endogenous buds found in the sponges and are involved in asexual reproduction. Gamules are endogenous bud. Now, sexual reproduction in sponges. Most sponges are hermaphrodite, means having both male and female sex organ. Whereas in few sexes are separated, means these sponges are unisexual. But most of the sponges are hermaphrodites. The sperms are carried by water currents to the neighboring sponge, where fertilization occurs. And fertilization occurs in mesenchyma. Mesenchyma में fertilization होती है. That is why the fertilization is internal in sponges. ये सुनने zygote बनेगा. Zygote के बाद larva बनेगा. Fertilized egg develop into free swimming larva, and the larva of sponges is known as amphiblastula larva. And then the larva is released into the water. 
और सबसे लास्ट में डियर स्टूडेंट्स हम फाइलम पोरीफेरा के तीन क्लासेस पढ़ेंगे क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ फाइलम पोरीफेरा क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ फाइलम पोरीफेरा बेस्ड ऑन द टाइप ऑफ एंडोस्केलेटॉन मींस केमिकल कंपोजिशन ऑफ स्पीक्यूल फाइलम पोरीफेरा इज डिवाइडेड इनटू थ्री क्लासेस जैसा कि पहले क्लास का नेम ही सजेस्ट कर रहा है क्लास कैलकेरिया मींस इन दिस क्लास द स्पीक्यूल्स आर मेड अप ऑफ कैलकेरियस मटेरियल कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट द स्पंज ऑफ दिस क्लास हैव अ स्केलेटॉन स्पीक्यूल्स कैलकेरियस स्पीक्यूल्स मेड अप ऑफ कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट नाउ लुक एट द डायग्राम ऑफ स्पीक्यूल इन दिस क्लास द स्पीक्यूल मे बी मोन एक्सॉन हैविंग सिंगल एक्सेस मे बी ट्रा एक्सॉन हैविंग थ्री एक्सेस एंड मे बी टेट्रा एक्सॉन हैविंग फोर एक्सेस द स्पीक्यूल इन दिस क्लास मे बी मोन एक्सॉन अलवेज है वन पॉइंट एट एंड ट्रा एक्सॉन हैव थ्री एक्सेस and tetraexon have four axes and what are the examples of this class class calcarea first example leucosolenia and second example sicon class 2 of phylum porifera hexatenilida hexatenilida the sponges of this class have the skeleton spicules of siliceous material siliceous spicules made up of silicon dioxide also known as silica and hexa means six tenilida means red so their endoskeleton six red siliceous spicules look at the diagram of these spicules 1 2 3 4 5 6 having six rays six red spicules siliceous spicules and what are the examples of this class euplectila commonly known as venus flower basket and the last class number 3 class demospongia also called demospongi they may contain skeleton of spongin fibers isme spicules spongin fibers ke honge ya skeleton hoga hi nahi or maybe the skeleton is absent to isme ek term likha gaya hai spongin fibers what is spongin dear students spongin is a modified type of collagen protein that forms the fibrous skeleton of sponges and what are the examples of this class examples of demospongi are euspongia commonly known as bath sponge so the dear students today we have discussed the main characteristics of phylum porifera and classification of phylum porifera wish you all of the best allah bless you